Hey guys, so um, this is a story about me when I was in preschool, which did suck by the way, I, I really hate preschool. And so um, I actually went to two preschools, and my first one, just, I do hate the first one. The second one's worst. Trust me. Okay. But um, here's the first preschool and what happened. So um, this preschool pretty much like shared a parking lot with a church. All right. And when I get in there. You first go through the door, and then on, and then on your right will be my classroom. Yeah, it was a fairly small preschool. I actually did actually take Cub Scout trips there many a times. And boy, every time I saw my classroom door, it... Gave you bad memories. Okay, but um, anyway. Okay, yeah, but anyway. What first starts off is that, that I kept getting bullied by like these two kids. One pro might probably be like the same height as me, and the other one might be like two inch, two inches shorter or something. I'm always insulted by the other one. The other one smacks me. They think it's funny. Yet it's just, God. It's just awful, isn't it? But that's not the worst part. The worst part was, is when I tell the teacher about like what's happening, do what she just says. She goes like, hey, pl please don't do that. That's not very nice. Like, go play. Like, that is like the worst discipline I have ever seen. It's just pretty much, it's, it's just like an entire episode of Caillou here. Okay, now that part's done. And I literally never told, told my mom what happened. At all. Okay, but um, now it's time f for like um, okay. Hang on, yeah. So um, there's also like one time when I was like at recess, and I was just playing around. I I didn't make any friends, friends yet. Okay, yeah, I, I never made any friends. But, um... So I was just kind of playing by myself, just running around. Having fun. And, um... These kids run up to me. And literally just shoved me on the ground. Do you know what the worst part about the ground is? The the ground was actually bark. You know those like tiny wood, wood pieces that you, that you like see, see at like playgrounds at like an elementary school or something or or just at a or just at your local park. Yeah, it was that material. 
and it turns out one actually cut me and gave me a permanent scar and it's still there okay bam that's actually a face reveal all right besides just drawings but um yeah it it doesn't hurt as much as it used to now I'm only, I, I could feel kind of a little ache on it right now. After, now that I'm talking about it. And, um. Yeah. And it turns out the reason why, the, why my teacher was so bad at discipline was because the teachers working at that preschool were really bad. Had a really bad trainer who did not train them well about well, like what to do. So we did eventually leave that preschool and I moved on to a new one, which which was worse. And I'm at this one. It wasn't just students bullying me this time. It was the teachers bullying me now. Surprising, isn't it? Okay, and um. When. Whenever my parents were around, they they acted like so, really nice. Actually, they they acted like so kind. I mean, like these teachers are, like so good at acting that Hollywood like should should hire them. Well, actually, it was actually one teacher, which was uh, okay. I don't know what I'm even saying anymore. Okay, but um. Anyway, when I first started school. This is not what I was expecting. Getting yelled at my teacher on my, on my first official day learning there. And I'm like, ma'am, what did I do to you? And so, um. Okay, yeah. The scar was still brand new. Um, I did actually make two friends on the bus, which was a good thing, and those were my fair first friends. And um, yeah. I was the most targeted student by my teacher. Yeah, I mean, she like impacted my life in kind of a negative way. Every time I think about it, it just hurt so much like she got one girl there named Molly to like come over to me and slap me across the face for no reason and I got in trouble for it that did actually happen I pretty much got in trouble for being slapped across the face yeah the, the, the teachers there had yeah the teacher there had a problem with like whatever I did like um this one story where I was going when I, when I was doing speech class which was like two doors down from where my classroom was and yeah 
my, my classroom, there was like at the end of the hall. And, um, and one time I was actually going to have to use the one, had to, had to like go potty and, and we had a bathroom and the classroom. And, and so, the, so the speech teacher to tell me to go to class and then use that. And the teacher was pissed off at me more on that day because because apparently it was like a f a a girl's birthday party in the class that was turning five and apparently I'm ruining her birthday yeah and I'm yeah that day she had a problem like with whatever I did or a time where um I was having when I was having like a really bad day that on um, my like I was not moving anywhere I was just sitting there on the floor crying because my because my because the teacher was like just pushing on me getting my face and then she did actually bring me out of the classroom but like picking me up not like just like under the armpits kind of picking up no 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 worse making me hang off my arm it was like my uh left arm i think yeah it was my left arm it doesn't even hurt anymore it's been so long Okay, yeah, and then my arm started to hurt for the rest of the day because of that. My dad saw the camera footage, which was actually public for parents to use. And from the camera's point of view, it looks like that m that my arm was going to come out of my outlet. Like, to the camera's point of view, looks like my arm was actually going to come off. To, to, to the camera's point of view. If I had footage to that, like, right now. It, like, if I did, I'd, I'd probably show you the clip right now, but I don't. Okay, and then, um. Oh, God. It's hard so much to think about this. I'm just making this video to just get this out of the way, okay? And now... I am... Or time where I was not allowed to bring my stuff home. Or time when I actually forgot to bring my lunch to school. And so... And so the teacher punished me for that. For I was not allowed to have lunch at all. Not the lunch that was getting served in the classroom. That was not allowed. I was starving for, for the rest of the day. I did forget to... Forget to... Bring my lunch again. But that time... I got to have lunch that was being served. Because the principal was... Going to be having lunch with us. In the classroom. Yeah. Full um. Well, okay, well, let me tell what happened on the last day of school. No, hang on. I'll, one, one, more, one more time. Yeah, there was like a time where, where we had like a slide set set in the classroom so first we go we um start at a trampoline crawl under like some thing or something i don't know what it is 
or what you call these things. And then you'd climb up the ladder and then go down the slide. We had fun with that. But um, here's the thing for me. The kids were kind of playing with the door, kind of just like opening and closing it, or just kind of playing with the door handle. Teacher did, the teacher did not have a problem with that at all. But when I closed it, I p p apparently got a warrant for closing the door. I did it again. Got mad at me again. The third time. I, it was time out corner. <sighs> yeah, I pretty much got into timeout for the rest of the day because I closed a door that leads right into the hallway. Okay, now we can tell you about the last day. So we were all having a treat at the table. I don't, I did not even get any. My teeth. Your teacher still hated me for an unknown reason. And, um... Yeah. God damn. And so, um... So I was crying about it because I wasn't getting it, getting the treat that everyone else was getting. She made me sit down on the floor. And then she was actually going to go somewhere. Also on somewhere else on the classroom. I think it was like towards like the micro microwave or something. And she tripped and blamed me for it. I got them into the principal's office because she tripped nowhere near me. Pretty much saying that I tripped her. Okay, then all that passed by. And then by the. And by kindergarten or first grade. By around that time, I got some good news. The teacher was caught. And was banned from teaching in Washington. She can't even. Try doing homeschooling. She can't even do like any teaching anymore in, in Washington State anymore. Her career is over permanently in Washington State. I don't know what she's doing now. Probably working on a different state. Because they only just said Washington. And the, and the entire school district knows her. Okay, but um, yeah, that's the story. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe for more content. Like if you like the video and dislike the video if you don't like it because I'm not in charge of you. Goodbye.